all right what's going on guys six shot here and i'm sorry for the lack of uploads recently i'll explain it better at the end of the video but i want to talk, talk about teams and organizations now if you don't know what a team or an organization is then honestly you're living under a rock so i feel like i shouldn't have to explain it so i'm not going to bother to for those who have been following me for at least a little bit you know that i was trying to get into team seven for a pretty decently long time never ended up happening of course i stopped grinding for the team and i'll get back to that in a second but to me a team should feel like this is how a gaming team a team a sports team a study team like any sort of team should feel like a family in my in my opinion a team should be like a family should be even be tight than a family like you should be 100% comfortable around these people you should be interacting with them you should be happy around them yeah and I mean should be like the ideal family and back to why I didn't join or why I stopped trying to join team 7 was simply because most of the, for those who don't know team 7 is mostly based out the owners and a lot of the players are way out in the OCE like Australia New Zealand that kind of area and since I wouldn't be able to interact with the people in the team as much with most of them being out there now there are some in like NAE which is where I am there are a lot of people based out there but most of the team and including the leaders and the owners are based out in that area so i wouldn't be able to interact with the team ideally that's why i stopped trying to get into team seven because like i said a team should be mostly based off of interaction talking to your fellow team members an overall good time and that dude just got absolutely lapped and that's kind of why i'm not grinding for a team at the moment currently now i'm not going to say anything because i'm not too sure if i'm allowed to since i'm not the owner of it but I do have something in the works. I'm working on something behind the scene with a couple other people in the Call of Duty sniping scene. So that's pretty interesting. If the team you're a part of doesn't feel like a family and you're not interacting with the people in there nearly every day, or at least just multiple times a week, then why are you in the team? But if you're not talking to the people in it all the time and establishing friendships and having a good time in it, then you're wasting your time and energy in the team, in my opinion. And don't join a team just because they offer you something. Like if you're a small dude or even just a big dude in the community, in the scene, whatever scene you're part of, Fortnite, Apex, realm rail call of duty whatever even just a general content creator don't join a team just because you get offered it like even if it sounds really good just realistically think look at the region most of the players are in and the leaders most importantly the leaders even if you plan on interacting more with the players plan higher for the leader because that's where most of the negotiating and talking is useful in is with the leaders the leaders are probably more important to interact with than the other players and let, like I get team Taj's and everything. Maybe it's just my personal opinion with it. But I feel like interacting with your leaders, is, it's like interacting with your boss from work or interacting with your teachers in school. If you can't interact with your teachers in school, then you're not going to get one-on-one -on -one help. You're not going to get like private help. You're just kind of, you're not going to be able to learn as rapidly. That's why a lot of people don't like online school. Me personally, I freaking love it. Like my biggest fear uh, in the gaming scene is joining a team and not being able to put anything into it. Because you know how you have those people that join a team and then just sit there? like five months six months before you find out about them because they don't contribute anything back into the team like that's probably my biggest fear in the gaming scene is joining a team and not being able to contribute anything to it and another thing about teams there's always team hoppers out there bro and it's so sad because what i said at the start of the video about like teams should be a family should feel like a family should be tighter than a family they join a team get a small little bit of just a nice little taste of cloud and then they leave the team afterwards once they realize they're not going to get much back out of it like when you join a team you know how they're always that people that follow you because you join the team yeah once they realize they're not getting that anymore they leave just to join a team that's equally as big all right i'm gonna call the video there well kind of if you came here to see the team stuff and me talk about teams and the video's done here it's been six shot guys later you can leave but i said to start a video i'm gonna talk about why i didn't upload almost all this week so i haven't really fully announced it but i'm no longer gonna upload daily i'm gonna upload like every other day until i'm done being kind of burnt on call of duty once i'm like fully refreshed on call of duty then i'll come back to daily uploads but for the meantime i'm uploading every other day like monday wednesday friday and maybe sunday but i went to upload on wednesday so it'd be like i uploaded monday Tuesday would have been a break day, and then Wednesday I would have uploaded. Well, on Monday, I did my, all my schoolwork. I mean, I uploaded because I made the video on Sunday to upload on Monday. On Monday, I uploaded, and I did like 10 hours worth of schoolwork and went into about five hours of making my passwords and everything better. Switching everything over to a brand new email, brand new, like two or three emails, mind you, that I have everything on now. Changed all my passwords, did all that. That took me around five hours to do. Just set up 2FA on everything, made sure everything was good and secure. 
because the Deller situation, if you don't know what happened to him, he got hacked and almost lost everything. Now, obviously, I wouldn't be downloading anything from an email because I don't get business emails and I never will. So I won't have to worry about that. But the situation kind of made me realize I need to step up my security to the next level if I'm going to take this YouTube thing seriously. And as you can see here, I even bought a VPN. It was on sale, by the way. I didn't pay a whole, like a whole $130 for a VPN. That wasn't happening. On Tuesday, my break day that I used to get a video done... But my switch ended up breaking, so I did. I spent like the whole day figuring out what was wrong with it and fixing it. If you guys are wondering, I got it fixed. So by the time I went to upload, I was so mentally just drained. Where if I were to try to have uploaded, I would have had no energy while recording. I would have just sounded really tired. It wouldn't have came out good and I would have scrapped it. If you remember like back to last week or two weeks ago, four day break I took, I scrapped two videos in that time. I scrapped another video since then, and I scrapped a video or two today. Fully recorded, ready to be uploaded. But I scrapped them because I was not satisfied with the recording, watching it back post edit. If I'm not at least 80% satisfied with something, as I said in this video, I'll put a picture of the thumbnail on screen here. I do not upload it. But even though my videos don't get a lot of views, and I never see them getting hundreds of views, I still want to make sure I'm at least satisfied with them. So that's why I haven't been uploading as much recently. Now, I do plan on going back to every other day uploads here next week. It's just this week was very exhausting for me. It's been sick shot, guys. Later.